This podcast contains explicit language. And spoilers. Only if you suck. Today on Two Fat Guys Talk Games, we talk about our E3 predictions for the next week. Indeed. This is Dave. Carlos here. Two Fat Guys Talk Games, Talk E3, Talk... Oh, fuck. Indeed. It is currently June 9th, is it? June 9th at 2.42 Mountain Standard Time. Mountain Daylight Time. Ah, you're right. MDT, for short. Very well. And uh, E3 is imminent, so we thought we would talk about what we want to see, what we think we'll see, and what will make us angriest. Now, I, for one... uh, We'll... Let's break this down to co- console companies, uh-huh. and then we'll go into the games afterward. Okay. So let's start with um, the, the underdog right now, supposedly. Nintendo. Okay. So what I would like to see from Nintendo, I would like some assurance that Smash Brothers 4 will be designed by someone who knows what the fuck he's doing. Uh, Katsurai Harada or whatever being in charge of the fundamentals would be infinitely better than it being Masahiro Sakurai. Um, some indication that it's going to be both fun and well-made instead of just accidentally well-made like Melee and accidentally a piece of shit like Brawl. You do realize we're talking wants and what we'd like to see versus miracles. Yes, I know. Uh, I would like to see some more on Link to the Past 2. Um... I want to see the next 3D Mario, and maybe I'll just lump my predictions and what I expect together. So that's my prediction. That's what I want to see in Smash. What I suspect I'll see is just a basic trailer that tells me nothing. Um, I suspect I will see some more Link to the Past 2. Maybe we'll see release date. Um, We will see the next 3D Mario, and I hope it is of galaxy quality. Uh, what else? Uh, we will probably see more about other games they announced in the past, like the Yoshi's, the new Yoshi's Island and whatnot. Will we see the next Metroid, Star Fox, and proper console Zelda other than the Wind Waker remake? Uh, I would like to see them all just for curiosity's sake, but I have my doubts Nintendo will show them at E3. Okay. Um, I don't hold out much hope for anything that you said for the the Smash Brothers game. I think we're going to see a Smash Brothers with a much larger cast number. I figure they'll abandon a number of the popular characters from the previous games. The shoehorn in characters that really no one gives a fuck about. See Raiden from the Metal Gear games. Oh, um, you know, in defense of Raiden, he was a lot of fun in PlayStation All-Stars. Uh, one thing I do hope for Smash 4, and this won't happen, but I kind of hope the clones trump the originals. I want to see Falco and Wolf. I don't want to see Fox. I want to see Luigi. I don't want to see Mario. Yeah. I want to see Toon Link. I don't want to see regular Link. That's not going to happen. never happen. Nope. Hope it does. No. Nope. I'm happen. on the opposite side of that. I want to see the clones the fuck gone, and let's keep the originals. Fuck your ass. No... Can you? Uh, actually, no. That's not a good example. No Mortal Kombat where fifty different different people are the same fucking character. Goodbye, gone. I want Falco. Goodbye. Keep keep Fox in. Keep even Wolf. No problem. Wolf is just ten times cooler than Fox and Falco put together. If any Star Fox character should leave, it's uninteresting ass Fox. Um, Luigi. Keep him around. Mario, keep him around. Fuck Mario. Of course. The year of Luigi. Eh, we should keep to fuck that. Fuck Luigi. Anyway. Fuck Marth. Bring back Roy. Fuck you! You just don't like when I play Marth. I don't like Marth's stupid tiara. Get a job! <laughs> anyway, moving on with, with some, some more of my predictions slash wants. I predict we are going to see announcements of a new Metroid, announcements of the new Star Fox. I figure we'll see F-Zero. We'll 
see something on the new full Zelda, but I, I suspect that we'll only see at the very best either a brief 10 second trailer or maybe some concept art. Um, but beyond that, I think the new Zelda will be, it's gonna be in too, too much in the early stages of things for them to want to actually commit to anything in the past that's come back to haunt them. Uh, what? other than that though, I would like to see a new Mario again in the style of, uh, Mario Galaxy. I find it hilarious that Sonic Lost World. Lost World is basically Sonic Galaxies. I kind of find that amusing that they've had to go that route to try and copy Mario to try and get themselves out of their rut. Uh, Sonic Generations. What I Sonic. what I would love to see is that they're go is them tell me that they're abandoning the 3DS for. Um, the Link to the Past 2 and making it an actual full-on Wii U game, but I know that's not going to happen. I'd rather that not happen so that I can keep my excuse to not get a Wii U. Yeah, see, I override your excuse with a proper over A 3DS is something I, I would not I, mind. I don't... I would rather buy a Wii U than buy a 3DS. I would love to see a 3D, a, a new 3DS model that has the second analog joystick built in. Won't happen, we, but I'd like to see We that. could see, according to rumors, we could see a new larger version of the 3DS, which would be upgrade number three to the fucking thing. We could. And, just like some rumors we read earlier, it's not going to have that fucking thing <laughs> built in. Well, whatever, nobody wanted it anyway. So, what out-of-left-field game you know will never get announced would just m melt your shit to be announced at E3 from Nintendo's end? I'll give you two examples of mine. This will never happen. Go, go happen, ahead, but I, I, I've got to think about this now. If This will never happen, but if I see either Super Mario Bros. 2, 2, or Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link, 2, I will lose my shit. Yeah, no, neither one will happen. It, that's the point. <laughs> yeah, no. Out of left field, never happened. Mainly because it, they neither one was popular in Japan. Yeah, that's awesome. Answer the fucking question. <laughs> uh, I could go for Super Mario Two Dash Two. Mm -hmm. Sorry, man, I can't go with with um Link to. Oh, okay, great. What out of left field game <laughs> are you avoiding? <sighs> to throw out there. Be creative. Without preparing, that's a hard one just to throw at me. Just just say Mario Kart Double Dash 2. I would more than accept that. <laughs> okay. I would like to see a... Besides a new, a new Metroid game, I would like to see them go, go back and say redo... Um, Metroid, Metroid, or Super Metroid, uh -huh. as well as Metroid Fusion, uh -huh. done in the same style as Metroid Other M. Okay. No voice acting, other than what the little bit there may have been in Fusion, a couple words or whatever else. Um, no changing storylines, adding shit, just a straight across port in the 3D engine the other M had. That would be okay, except I'd want it to be... Except get rid of the whole... It's gotta be still fully controlled just by your pad, no turning it forward to shoot missiles. I abandon that part of it, use the 3D engine to other M. So... That would be fucking cool. I would rather just have them migrated into the Metroid Prime 1 engine. I don't... I'm going to admit something here. I own, or have owned, all three Metroid games for either the GameCube or the, the Wii. Me Metroid Prime the, Me the Metroid Prime series. The game I probably played the most was Me Metroid um, Prime 3. Followed by Metroid Prime One, because two was just a piece of shit. Two was garbage. Though I did, one was I, awesome. I did play. I think two was fun up until you, the point you started to actually have to jump between 
light and dark world. I agree. That was a that was second a you started idea. to do that, that was stupid. However, that worked in Zelda 3, did not work in Metroid Prime. As as much as I enjoyed the Prime series, I got bored eventually. And actually, no, I gotta take that back. I probably Metroid Prime 1 was the most or the most progress progress made. But I think I enjoy more of the whole 2D um, Metroidvania games these days, like Dust, um, Symphony of the Night. I enjoy those a hell of a lot more than the let's make Metroid into a first-person shooter sort of thing. Uh, just, just the way I'm going these days. Not everything has to be made into a shooter. Give me my 2D side-scrolling awesome games. I love 2D games, as you might well know. But that doesn't mean I hate 3D ones. But... but, and you know this is one of my pet peeves with gaming today. Mm-hmm. Get them the fuck off the portable consoles. Please. Maybe, maybe you should just shut the fuck up and get a portable console. I've got a Vita. I can't I don't want to sit, angle my head down, play on a little screen. I've got a 51-inch motherfucking TV three feet away. You know how Sony could sell me tomorrow on an $800 PS4? Tell me it can play Vita games. I will buy that shit day one to play Persona 4 Golden on my 51-inch motherfucking TV. Understood. I'll get right on that. Anyway, back to the Nintendo. I don't. I expect that Nintendo is going to focus very heavily on the upcoming games because that's all they've got to work with right now. There's no new console reiterations, though. It seems like the Wii Basic is being pulled off the shelves faster than anybody can say that they're not being recalled. Uh but, I wouldn't know. Yeah, no, Best Buy, Future Shop, um, EB Games, they've all gotten um, letters saying to pull the Wii U Basic off the shelves and return it to, to Nintendo. Interesting. So it sounds like the Premium Edition is going to become the only edition. There's all kinds, there's all kinds of rumors going on there about what may be happening, but... My other prediction this year is that we're going to we're going to start seeing a game or two that will use two of the giant controllers um, for it. But I honestly think when they do that, we're going to see a whole new revision of the hardware. Perhaps I think we're I think it's going to require to do. It's going to require a new hardware revision to be able to actually use both without causing any sort of lag. I kind of hope they call it the Wii U2 and then they get sued by the band U2. <sighs> That'd be amusing. It would be amusing. You know what else is amusing? The X-Bone. Oh, we're going there now, eh? Yes, yes we are. Here's what I hope to see at E3. <laughs> oh god, here we go. I want to see someone from Microsoft come out and say we screwed up. We fucked up family friendly version of that. Yeah. We fucked it up. We're sorry. We're reneging on all this bullshit. Here are 17 awesome looking games for you. So again, we're back to miracles and dreams. Here's what will really happen, not that. Here's what <laughs> yeah. I here's what I hope to see. Uh, I hope that we do not see Gears of War 4 announced, and you'll find out why when I get to the PlayStation part of this. Um, here's what will happen. They're going to announce Gears of War 4 on fucking Expo. Uh, see what I just said about apologizing when it comes to Halo 5? Won't happen, though. We're sorry about the leveling and the quick time event boss. Halo 5 is going to be awesome. Trust uh, us. On, a, on that topic very quickly, I don't think the problem with Halo 4 was the leveling in any way, shape, or form. I uh, have an issue with the leveling. Uh, 
I take Halo as two distinctly different parts. You have the single player experience, and then you have the multiplayer. The single player experience, where you are still gaining levels for playing through the game, whatever. It's the multiplayer thing that that, that affects. The quick time event that you and me both have problems with affected the single player. But we also played Halo multiplayer pretty heavily before Halo 4. And I don't think either of us had a taste for it after seeing what we'd have to do. It should have been like Halo Reach, where... I think that was more based on the fact that our group just doesn't do that anymore. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure they wouldn't be too keen on that either. It's like, oh, can I put on a Covenant Carbine? Yeah, maybe in a week or two. That is uh, true. They'd be like, fuck that. That is true. Okay, continue Uh, on, please. Continue on, continue on, expone. Um... I, what else do I hope to see on Xbone? Oh man, I don't know. Um, it's, it's kind of been soul crushingly um, destroyed I, in our minds, so it's hard to keep um, an open mind to what we'd like to see. I kind of see. Just, I kind of threw out there what I would love to see. What else I'll predict? Uh, we will see some of these fifteen new IPs. Not all of them. A disproportionately large amount of them are going to be Kinect titles. We will likely not see any kind of... uh, They're going to try to downplay the whole used games thing. They'll mention the pros without touching on the cons, which is good marketing in one sense, but total damage control. And it'll be totally destroyed on the the cross um, arguments online. Mm -hmm, Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We'll probably see their new Xbox Live Arcade XP, not XP, uh, the new service. We'll probably see some hint of that, and maybe a quick little trailer, but we won't see anything too substantial. Okay. I volleyball spike it over to you. Okay. And I'll spike it right into the air, because that's pretty much what um their future is, is completely up in the air right now. So... What I'd like to see is for them to come back and say, much like you, that, that, yeah, there are some things that they are, they messed up on, they're going to take a look back on it, specifically in the area of the used game market as well as the loaning market. Um, I love how they thought that they were throwing us a bone by saying, oh, well, you can loan a, ga- a game to a friend that has been on your friends list for th- um, for at least 30 days, a single game once for 30 days, and then never again. Um, no, if I want to loan a friend a game over and over again, I should be able to to the end of fucking time. Period. Uh, that, that's one of the very big issues I've got with it right, right now. Um, connect. Um, again, they thought they were throwing the German government a bone by saying, well, oh yeah, you can turn the connect off when you turn the system off. I never even thought that was a under for discussion. If I turn the <laughs> system off, not in suspend, turn it off, that fucking thing better be off. <laughs> And we've made it easy to turn off the system by inputting a special code. I mean, they're... Up, the... up, down, down, left, right, left, right, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Fucking Microsoft. I mean, they're now telling us that we can control what the Kinect does, that we can turn it turn it off. But until I see how far that can go in the settings, like, if I cannot tell the Xbox to turn the Kinect off permanently, not in-game, not just for interfaces. I want to be able to turn off the Kinect completely. No voice controls, no nothing, just gone. I want to be able to just not plug it in and the system will function fully. That would be nice. I don't think we're going to see that, but that is... I'm predicting that they are going to gloss over a great deal of the complaints just go into Microsoft mode where they're just, everything's fantastic, and ignore us. We're going to see at least half of the 15 new um, IPs. 
um, that are there, but I'm, I'm suspecting out of the 15, anywhere between 5 to 8 of them are going to be Connect labeled um, games. In, in which case, I just stopped caring. You're probably going to have the best um, part of the show come from the third parties. Things like Destiny, um, Ubisoft. Probably we're going to see some stuff from Blizzard. For Blizzard. The, for the Diablo 3. We haven't talked about PlayStation yet, though. We're getting there. We'll gotcha. get there. Gotcha. Because uh, Diablo's coming to X Xbone as well. Diablo! So... <sighs> I think we're not going to get any apologies. We're not going to get any of the stuff that people are clamoring for. We're just going to get more excuses, more we are so great. And we're probably going to see more. Like they've already promised they're going to focus on the games for their E3 conference. I'm predicting right now that they're going to blow at least 10 to 15 minutes of their hour or so conference on Connect and TV. I'm saying it right now. They don't probably because know. as much as they've said we're focusing on games, it's going to be look, you can play a game while watching the price is right. <laughs> we're you're, you're going to have an intimate <laughs> while watching the, while while having an intimate relationship with the trailer for the new Star Wars Trek movie. <laughs> You and your TV are going to French kiss like never before. Oh, fuck you, Microsoft. Fuck you. <sighs> Moving on to what may be the only bright light in this console generation. Might, the PS4. Might, very well. Uh, I hope... Spike it right back at you. I hope to see Naughty Dog making a new Crash Bandicoot game. Won't happen. I hope to see... Uh, Sony not only mock Microsoft outright, but show that, no, we're not doing this. Or, at the very least, at the very least, we're leaving it up to the publisher. Ideally, no, we're not doing this. Because um, leaving it up to the publisher... That's Is a cop-out. It's kind of like what they're doing already. EA was doing that for the longest time already. And I'm not entirely against the pu the publisher going, you know what, we're gonna we're going to do the code thing. I'm not entirely against that on a per publisher basis. I'm really not. So it, at at the very least, that it would be nice to just see it not happen. Uh, I, I'm I'm actually not against the whole um, pass or code or whatever thing, but at least it allows you to sell your game, and then the next person to play multiplayer stuff just has to pay a ten dollar fee for the, the pass. Yeah, I'm not completely. Against, I don't like the idea of it, but at least that still doesn't close down the used game market. You don't have to go to a, you don't have to go to EB Games and give them your game, and then they have to go through a ten or fifteen minute process to remove the game from your fucking profile. Yep, that and de-license it so the next person can license it. Fuck you. Agreed. That's fucking retarded. I hope to see Gears 4, if it's announced, be multi-platform or PS3 exclusive. PS4 yeah. exclusive. Won't happen, though. No. Uh, PlayStation. It won't happen because uh, people think Smash is the superior series for some reason. I would like to see a sequel to PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. That's pretty much dead in the water. It will be dead because people thought it was bad because people don't know what they're talking about. Uh, what else would I like to see from Sony? Send this won't happen either. But I'd like all the console manufacturers to just have an open policy about game controllers with USB connections. Won't happen either. Uh, no. PlayStation, PlayStation. I just don't want. Uh, like, I'll see what games they have. I just don't want them to pull an Expo. That's really it. What What will we see? We'll see some of the stuff they showed before. We'll see more of the new Sly Cooper. No doubt, we'll see a Ratchet and Clank. Uh, we might see a new Ape Escape, maybe, possibly. Maybe a new ja Jack and Daxter. It'd be interesting, but now Jack and Daxter has reached the phase where the next game will be made by Traveler's Tales, just like it happened to Crash. I, I Die. I, I, I play with your emotions, Dave. Die. I play with your emotions. <laughs> okay, well, ball back in my court. I predict... Well... 
I predict one of two things is going to happen. Either they're going to come out and laugh at Microsoft and say we're doing the exact opposite, or they're going to laugh at Microsoft and then say, by the way, we're doing the same thing. I don't see any other alternative at this point. I still say Sony could win the console war right now simply by saying we're not doing the used game bullshit, we're not locking it down to, to the console, and by the way, our camera thing is used for certain games that you might want to use it for, but it's not necessary. I think the camera, the, their move thing comes with it, just like the the Kinect does, but again, don't force us to use it. We're good. Uh, as far as games go, a lot of the same games are coming out on both both systems. I mean, the only games I can think of that aren't coming to both that I know of is that um, soccer game that we like making fun of so much due to the um, ragdoll physics. FIFA soccer. FIFA soccer. Um, all the sports games are, that EA now has a partnership with Microsoft is coming to PS4 as well, probably minus some features. I figure both consoles will have their own unique DLC for different games. But as far as the games themselves, other than maybe a bunch of different RPGs, just like what happened in this console generation... I suspect we're going to see a lot of the major games on both systems. Yeah. I mean, Titan likely. is the big one right now for shooters slash whatever the hell it is that is only going to be Xbox One. Titan? Titan, yeah. it's uh, Lizard's Titan? No, that's Destiny. This is Titan something. It's not just Titan. That's Blizzard's game. No, that's Destiny. No, that's Bungie's game. Bungie's is codename Titan. No, Bungie's is Destiny. You are so in the wrong, it's not even funny. One second. But my my do, compatriot do, Dave do, is going do, to do, look things do, up and be wrong. Do, 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 fuck Carlos. Do, 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 do. Don't have that song too much. Do, I don't want to have to explain it to do. NBC. <laughs> this part all gets removed anyway. It sure it does. Because I'm not lazy at all. Titanfall. Okay. Yes, Titanfall. I'm like... wrong. Fine. Yes. Titanfall is is the only one I know so far that's coming to Xbox One only. But, and this is something I'm, I've noticed, to go, go back to Xbox One for a second. The big name titles that are Xbox or X-Bone only are coming to my PC. So you're good. So, fuck you, Microsoft. Games for Windows Live branded requires Windows 8. Oh, you're fucking evil. <laughs> you, my friend, are fucking evil. <laughs> <sighs> Moving on. So yeah, other than other than that, games I'd like to see from for the X-Bone, oh, there's, there's a whole bunch. I'd like to see another... Uh, Another cr uh, Crackdown. I'd like to see a Crackdown 3 that didn't suck. Crackdown 2 wasn't so great. Um, Gotta have to look at my games library now. And I'm lying down on Dave's couch. Uh, we're gonna see a Halo 5 that will be X, X Bone only. Yes, it will. We're gonna see another Fable, or not Fable. Yeah, another Fable game for, again, X Bone only. Don't give a fuck. I hope they call it Forble. That'd be funny. You know something? Other than that, all these games are multi-console. So... List them off. No. Okay. No. But games that I've enjoyed, like The Darkness, I can get on PC. Batman, I can get on PC. Uh, Bioshock on PC. But actually, no, those are, those are mainly for, for Xbox. I'm talking about PS4. Mm -hmm. PS4 really did, I feel, 
win the role playing game um, Play- genre. PlayStation Three. Play- PlayStation Three, rather. PlayStation Three really did win the the RPG genre for this console segment. You can come out and say that the Xbox probably came out more successful in the long run for this this generation, but I rarely touch my Xbox anymore because I am into RPGs and they didn't come to the Xbox. And the few times they did, Final Fantasy XIII, they sucked. Oh, that Final was that, that wasn't that wasn't the fault of the Xbox though. Though the fact that the Xbox would play on DVDs and therefore required multiple discs is You know since we're talking we're moving past so the, the individual so, so, console talk and so we're those, talking about those are my predictions. Yes, yes. Those yes. are why I, I would like to see the next generation of RPGs, much like um I would love to see PS4 versions of some of the end game Wii releases. Sure. Um But talk- that that that's how, how I'm gonna end that. Now we move on to the games. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> this time. Can can I talk now? Anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, go ahead. Uh, uh, okay. balls, back, balls back in your cart. Thank you. <laughs> so, thanks to the critical success of Final Fantasy XIII <laughs> and its terrible ass storyteller, whatever uh, Toriyama, not Akira Toriyama. Uh, thanks to that jackass having his ridiculous storytelling and the Square Enix game designers having their bullshit-ass gameplay rewarded by the money and adoration of the masses, we are going to see a Final Fantasy XV that is just as retarded. Uh, Final Fantasy Versus XIII will probably ha- no, no longer look cool, be branded as fifteen or a fifteen sub-game, get cancelled, and we'll never get to play it. If, uh, if this Toriyama character is in charge of Final Fantasy VI 2. I will commit seppuku and rip my intestines out with my bare hands and ask myself why, oh why, am I not dying yet? <laughs> uh, I, w- I really wish that Diablo 3 would use the same damn infrastructure as the PC version because... A part of the reason I've been playing the PC version sparingly is because I keep thinking to myself, man, I'd like to play this game with a fucking controller. And they don't have controller options on the PC version, which is fucking gay. No offense to any, uh, to, to any gay people listening. I, I have nothing but respect for you. I mean gay in the sense that only Blizzard can be. Uh, but I, I would hope that in their Diablo 3, uh, talkings about they would talk about that a bit and go, nope, it's, you can use your Battle.net account, have fun, y'all. I'd be like, yes. I totally get it, won't happen. No, they've already said it won't. No, yeah, you're right, you're right. Uh, back to my out-of-left-field <clears throat> Nintendo predictions, a Captain N game. Back to what we're talking about now, <laughs> various other titles. Uh, I don't know, you chime in with a few while I think of something. Well, Here's the thing: is I very much enjoy the role-playing game genre, mm-hmm. but sparingly. Yes. I I, I want to play for may, maybe I want to play a full day, 10, 10, 12 hours full of an RPG. Mm-hmm. But I want to be able to come back in two weeks or two months, and not having forgotten everything I need to know about the game, to the point where I'm screwed. That's kind of where I'm at right now in Persona 4 Golden. I haven't touched the game in months, and so now I'm I'm thinking about coming back to it. I don't have a freaking clue what I was doing or events. Do you want me to spoil who the kid <clears throat> No. Is? Swear to God, you do that, you're going out the window. <laughs> window. Anakin Skywalker. Instead, I'm just going to smack your head in the door. <laughs> Anakin Skywalker! Stupidity. I thought you were a fictional character. No. Um, For games, I'm kind of pumped for the um new Infamous game. I really like the Infamous games on, on PS4. Three. 
Fuck. <laughs> Uh, yes. <laughs> PS3. Uh, if there was a new Jack and Daxter game, which I kind of hope not won't be, because you're right, it would be handed off to that other studio. <laughs> uh, it, before the cast, I was I was joking mm. with Dave that if there is another Jack and Daxter, if it follows the Crash Bandicoot uh, design roadmap, it would be handed off to Traveler's Tales for its fourth installment and be terrible. Actually, I don't know who made. There was a Jack and Daxter four, actually. The racer? No, not the racer. The game Daxter? No, not the game Daxter. There was a fourth one that was um, PSP. They actually ported it to um, PS2. Daxter? Wasn't Daxter? Hang on, just going to my library. If I even got it here. Are you sure this was branded the fourth game? It was Jack and Daxter subtitle. Right, that's not Jack and Daxter 4. Ah, it might as well have been. You can call Metroid Fusion Metroid 4, because in the game's intro it says Metroid 4. It is clearly meant to be Metroid 4. It, this takes place two months after Jack and Daxter 3. Okay, fine. It actually is a canonical title within it. Whatever, they had a racing game, which means Traveler's Tales. <laughs> For all I know, Traveler's Tales may have made this other one. Now I'm curious. We'll find out after the podcast. Yeah, maybe. Uh, but other than that, I mean, there are a number of tiles they could fall back on. Or not even fall back on, just renew to bring back older games. They could... There's a number of studios that are sitting on RPG titles that they could do a, a sequel to quite easily and just blow the socks off the RPG group. What I don't want to see is I don't want to see a whole slew of new fighters. I do want the Guilty Gear triple X. <laughs> X-Hard. <laughs> X-Hard. It's triple X. <laughs> um, but I've never cared for the Marvel vs. Capcoms, so if Part 4 comes out, not going to care. I don't want to see a Street Fighter V anytime soon. Uh, I don't need to see another Blaze Blue or that other one. Battle Fantasia. Battle Fantasia. I'm kind of fightered out. I mean, Persona's great. Skullgirls is great. But we don't need a new one every six months to a year. Do you want to play a new game wishlist ping pong where we each name drop a new game we'd love to see at E3? Sure. Okay, I'll serve. Jamestown 2. Fucker. <laughs> <laughs> Good pick. Yes. Dot hack done by somebody other than Bandai. Okay, okay. Uh, Chrono Trigger Remake by Obsidian Entertainment. Uh, I can't really agree with... I know your whole <laughs> fantasy slash wet dream of making Chrono Trigger into a first-person shooter. <laughs> but... No. No. It, Can I change my answer to the Chrono Trigger first-person <laughs> shooter? <laughs> Basically what you're talking about anyway. All right. Um... Would I like to see a Chrono Trigger sequel that totally denies the existence of Chrono Cross, made by somebody other than Square Enix, and not by Bandai? Yes. In fact, who was the guys behind the original Grandia games? Game Arts? Give fucking Game Arts that title. Yeah, but then you, it, it, after the second dungeon, you'd be too powerful for the rest of the Dude, game. All I'm saying is <laughs> hand it off to them under some leadership, and we might get a good game. Game Arts which, also which, was responsible for most of Brawl. Just want to throw that out there. You cocksucker. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up to my title, though. Mm -hmm. Grandia. I want a new fucking Grandia game. You want a new Grandia? I had one in mind. Shit. Uh, Uncharted Team Racing. 
<laughs> well, can you blame me the for knife. There was a Jack and Dexter racing. And a Crash and a Bandicoot, Crash Bandicoot, Bandicoot racing. one. Naughty Dog has set a precedent. After three Last of Uses, I expect Last of Us kart racing. Oh. I'll play Zombie 3. Oh, for fuck's sakes. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that's just not cool, dude. dude not cool. I want to see a new X-Wing versus TIE Fighter slash Rogue Squadron slash more X-Wing or TIE Fighter rather than Rogue Squadron, but I would even accept a Rogue Squadron style game now. Yes, I'm on rails, but that was the most fun I had in, in, in the new Star in the um, Old Republic game. It was mm-hmm. getting to my ship over and over again and blowing the fuck out of some Star Destroyers. I love that shit. So, give me more of that. Cool. cool. You. A uh, Breath of Fire three sequel. Beat me to it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, directly a yeah, Breath yeah, of a Fire three sequel. I want to see. Spoiler alert: What happens to Ryu, Nina, Ray, and Momo after they're looking at the desert and they don't know what to do? And I want it to be canonically separate from Breath of Fire four or five, which are which have pros and cons in their own rights. But I kind of want those to be on a separate timeline. Well, not only do I want them in a separate timeline, I want them erased from my brain. You liked five. Sorry. Four I want erased from my brain. Four had pros Dragon and cons. Quarter sucked. Five was Dragon Quarter. Uh was it? Yes. <laughs> oh, you Shit. are the worst with titles, man. <laughs> right, four was with the Dragon Emperor. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. A, a, a Folu. One of the best parts of the game was Folu. Five was the don't turn into a dragon or else your time will fucking mother cook second piece of shit. Oh, and by the you way, you can't have multiple saves because we're locking this fucking save to your memory. You Fuck know, you, Capcom. It, it was years ago, but watching you play that years ago still makes me want to play it. I still want to go back and play through Breath of Fire 5. It's the only one I haven't played through all the way. Frustrating. I didn't finish Breath of Fire 1 either, but my brother showed me the ending, so I'm like, okay, I have to... And I finished 1, 2, 3. I finished 4. I finished 4. Shoutouts to Chris Weston doing his Breath of Fire 3 playthrough on YouTube. I've I've been tempted to go back and play Breath of Fire 3. Watch Chris Weston's uh, 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 plays. I've been linking them on Facebook. And I whatnot. saw it. Yeah, yeah. He, uh, it's. I don't know how much I really want to replay three, but living vicariously through his playthrough has been good enough. Fair for me. enough. And in some cases, it's better to to not try and go back. I found. Mm-hmm. Um, as much as I love Fantasy Star Four. Mm-hmm. Um, Just live by character. I, I, through my I, I really have found that I, I got to a certain point, and then I had to go and play other games because it was just. I was having a hard time continuing. YouTube.com slash Axel Hander. That's my, my uh-huh. place to open there. Go watch it. But that aside, I want a true sequel to Fantasy Star 4. Not a PSO game, an actual single-player motherfucking RPG. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. I'm gonna go along and the same And with, with the graphics they've got now, you can even keep the exact same interface from from Fantasy Star 4 up the graphics to today's graphics. Mm-hmm. And that would be freaking sweet. Uh, Don't Final Fantasy 13 it up, though. I'm going to... Uh, or Final Fantasy 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 2, 12... Or given how the storytelling works in PSO games, those. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Those are pretty ambiguous, bad storytelling things yes. where there is story in it. Um, along those same lines, a game in the same vein as, and by the same team as, the people who did Persona 4 Arena, 
but for Fantasy Star 4, Arena. I'd go for... Until you said Arena, you had me. <laughs> like a fighter. 2D fighter. No. I know. I know you're fightered out. But I'm never fightered out. I mean, so. Injustice was a good game. And the story mode was awesome. Sure. I hear the Mortal Kombat one that they did was was done quite well as well. Mm-hmm. I'm burned out. I do not... I do not want a fucking fighter based on Fantasy Star. No. Vito. But, 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 but no. Rika's hot latex clad form. This is a in preeminent. Arc, in arc system works. Shh. 2D. <laughs> preeminent. Shh. On this topic. 2D. Shh. Shh. Ash shh. crack showing. <sighs> Look, just get yourself a fucking copy of, um,. Dead, dead or alive, or whatever the hell it is, and just jerk off to that, okay? Who, who says I don't? Oh my god. Okay, so you've got your um, idiot idea there. I want. I wouldn't mind seeing another sequel to um, Lunar. Lunar four, hopefully not shitty. No, Lunar three, ignoring. There was of there was shit. a Lunar three. La 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 la. <laughs> Yes. And granted, yeah, a lot of these are RPG-centric that I would like to see sequels to. Because really, I mean, the sh- Oh. I would like to see another Mercenaries game. Granted, Pandemic is completely non-existent anymore, and the Mercenaries 3 they were working on was completely scrapped. But I had some real fun playing Mercenaries 1. And to a lesser extent, Mercenaries 2. Which is why they cease to exist. So yeah, let's, um... Getting a little bit away from all the RPGs we want sequels to. Uh-huh. What other genres had games that we would lo- we'd like sequels to? Mercenaries would be a shooter I'd like to see a sequel to. Dynasty Warriors Avatar. It's sequels, not some new monstrous hybrid. Though I could see a Dynasty Warriors being made based on the At Last Airbender TV series. What? No, I was talking about James Cameron's movie. No, you weren't. (laughs) I'm calling bullshit right there. (laughs) Dynasty Warriors Final Fantasy? That could work. That's kind of been done, though. No, we don't count Dissidia. I'm not counting Dissidia. Or or the Rhythm Game. Nope. The Time Cloud was in Tactics? No, actually, I'm, I'm counting that um, Dirge of the Cerberus. Dur- the one you always put a the in that doesn't have a the. Exactly. Yes. That was basically... A Dynasty Warriors style game. Sure, if by Dynasty Warriors you mean nothing like it in any way, shape, or form at all. <laughs> okay, it was more of a shooter. The Dynasty Warriors beat him up, first person shooter. Dynasty Warriors <laughs> totally crossover, not a crossover. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, they need to do something with Final Fantasy, I just give it to a different studio that um actually has some talent. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. 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 <sighs> new a new crash game would be nice. Yeah, yeah. That was made directly by Naughty Dog, though. Uh, there are certain companies if Naughty Dog doesn't want to do it, and they don't want to do it, uh, because for some reason they are ashamed of it or some shit. I don't know. Well, they're ashamed of what it became. Uh, there are other companies that could do justice to Crash Bandicoot. Uh, you know, uh, Way Forward could probably do a good Crash Bandicoot game. Way Forward can do good, justice any, to any game. Just about anything. The, like, the worst game I've played that they've made. And when I say worst, I don't mean that it's bad in any way at all, is Double Dragon Neon. And I say worst just because underneath the fun to playerness of it, it's kind of, uh, you, you know, it. I don't like the having to grind out the tapes aspect. I kind of mm-hmm. wish it was more arcadey, 
but it's still immensely fun and well made. And if that's the worst they're pumping out, hey, yeah. I'm all good for it. Now, we've spent this whole thing going after um, Nintendo, Microsoft, and Sony. Mm -hmm. But as far as the games is concerned, we're leaving out one very big category. Yeah. The Game PC Boy market. Advance. Now, the PC market. <laughs> Just slap, uh, Dave just brought up his Steam library list. <laughs> and uh, I say just slap two to the end of all of these. <laughs> That's right. Anno 20,702. <laughs> well, Company of Heroes 22. Now, now you tell me, would you not want to see a sequel to Bastion? No. I knew you were going to say that. I don't blame you. I don't. But I, if I, there is going to be a sequel to Bastion, it has to be a sequel off the correct ending. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. The one where they decide not to reset time. Absolutely. And the one where... Uh, the one where they continue. And the where What's-His-Face lives. Yeah. Not Rux. Uh, the Asian guy. I know who you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, that guy. Um, I, I want to see something new from this studio. Well, we are seeing something new from that studio. That... Uh, Oh, what's it called? They revealed the trailer. Oh, yes. About, about a month back. Yeah, and the girl holding the big sword. Yes. The music is a big part of it. Why can't I remember this game? Which is funny. Oh, I, I love... They're not Final Form games, Carlos. I was about to say Final Form games. No, they're... Oh, my... It's super Giant Games. Yes. Super Giant Games. Yes. I would personally like to see a, a proper sequel to Brutal Legend. Well, we're never going to see it, unfortunately, but mm. I'd love to to see it. In fact, I would like to see a sequel to any one of Double Fine's games. Specifically, the number one has got to be Psychonauts. Mm -hmm. I still have to play through that. The, uh... But I'm busy playing Mega Man X2 for the fifth time. Yeah. Uh... I mean, I can go through a lot of my... A lot of the PC games I've bought, I think, would deserve a, a second helping. Things like Bulletstorm, which was a complete and utter epic failure for them, um, because it didn't have co-op. I want to see a grim parody of The Dark Knight Returns. But grim, this grim parody. But this grim parody is Duke Nukem 5. <laughs> oh, Lord. Where it's the future, and... He's like this embittered man, but he has to come back and be Duke again to save a world grown cynical of him. Okay. Don't ever tell me I don't think about the story in my games. <laughs> um, I would love to see a sequel to Dust and El Elysian Tale. Elysian. Elysian, okay. Um, shout outs to Dust, because that game was fucking awesome and just released on Steam. I saw you play it. I saw my brother play it. I have it on Xbox 360. There's a Steam version. Go play it, people. Uh, um, I, I need to play for, it myself. For the $15 that you'll pay, um, you will... Between the art, the audio, the actual storyline, and the voice acting, it all just blends into... What I can only describe as art. <laughs> I want to see Doom 4 return. properly. Properly, yeah. Be Doom 3, what Doom 3 should have been. Jamestown, yeah. You ha you've yeah, got Jamestown me on that two. one. I mean, Jamestown 2. Um, the developers there, I don't know if they're working on anything right now, but Jamestown... Final games? I'm not sure. Jamestown was an amazing game, and... I would buy DLC for that. I would buy a we part are, two. We already have bought DLC for true, that. True, the extra ships. But I, I'd love to see more from them. I want... I want a combination of Portal 3 and Half-Life 3. So what you want is Half-Life 3 where Chell plays a role. Except that can't happen. No, it literally can't. It physically is impossible for Chell to be in Half-Life 3. Time uh, travel. 
unless they introduce time travel. They Be- have portal technology. Because Chell in Portal 2, you remember how they, um, she's asleep for all that time? Mm-hmm. Well, the audio at the very beginning says you've been asleep for nine, 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 nine days. And when you calculate that, she's been asleep for 2,000 fucking years. It's not 2,000. It's more like 20. No, it, it wasn't. No, it was nine, 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 nine minutes. No, it was hour. It was years. Look it up right Four now. Days. You are so wrong. No, I'm not. Go Google it. I don't have to. It's still in my calculator. Turn. No, you're you're thinking of it in hours. It was minutes. Go Google it. No, it was days. Google. Ah, <sighs> yes, because I'm sure everybody wants to. Google. Ah, Portal Two. How many days was Chow sleep? She's in the Half-Life wiki. Let's go to the Portal 2 section. Lab rat. Portal 2. Many years, possibly ranging anywhere from five years to tens of thousands of years, after GLaDOS partial... Da, 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 Chell is awakened by Wheatley. Yeah, because right here... Oh, they don't mention a unit. Oh, don't they? So we have no idea how long it is after. So she might well be able to participate, or she might uh, have no chance. Well, here we are again. Well, no, because the it's all when, when they wake when they wake her up the first time, they tell her that she's been she's been asleep for. Like fifty or sixty days. No, they say nine, 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 no, nine. Something. The first time, when when you do the whole look at the look at the um, artwork that will get give you your um, sense of art. J- look up and down at the whole calibration thing before she goes to sleep for the nine, 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 nine. Point is, you were wrong. No, I'm not. Remember when you tried to kill me twice? Oh, uh, we laughed and laughed, except I wasn't laughing. Under the circumstances, I've been awfully nice. She's woken up at the first time after 50 days of sleep. Take it. That's what I'm counting on. Answer fades out or stutters after uttering a nearest end streams of, of the digit nine as the announcer has reached a maximum count. Ah. Okay, so that's kind of up in the air. Yeah, up in the air. Up in the air is a good answer. Because if you went by days by the amount of nines they gave you, that would have been 27,397 years. Yes, but unfortunately for you, you're wrong. Uh huh. So yeah, a Half-Life 3 slash Portal 3 hybrid. Have Chell pop up. You don't have to kill her off or anything. Uh, you don't... Actually, that would be a bitch. <laughs> Gordon... For... So you have Gordon show up. He dies, and she has to take on the rest of his mission. I'm not in enough invested in Half-Life to be emotionally yeah. affected by that. You're more invested in the Portal games. I've played about three quarters of the way through Half-Life 1 and none of the expansions yet. And about Ever. 20% of the way through Half-Life 2 and none of the extra episodes yet. i played through all of Portal multiple times and all of Portal 2 a couple times. Yeah. But not the multiplayer. And honestly, I'm not sure how much I care. Maybe one day. I still want to play through the multiplayer. I still haven't had the chance to. Multiplayer. I mean, unless I can kill you. Mm-hmm. Once or twice. Once or twice. First stage. Indeed. Well, I think we've, we've kind of drawn out the um, the whole games thing. I mean, we could go on for a long time saying all the games we'd love to see picked back up, um, dusted off, and given a fresh new coat of paint. Yep. But we will have more after E3 draws to an end. DuckTales.
In Hell yes! We're going to see some DuckTales at E3. Capcom's already said we will, so... Which, based on that... Oh, one of your predictions, I think, was absolutely wrong, by the way. Hmm. I think we're going to see a, a video based on the summer of, for the Xbox. Summer of Arcade. Summer of Arcade. Mainly because they're still going to have downloadable games that no doubt will come out over the summer. So I can't see Microsoft getting rid of that just because the X-Bone. Did I say they were going to get rid of it? Or yeah. That's something we were you, reading you, before you, the show. No, you had mentioned that you thought that they would either do away with it completely or give like a five second sort of snippet. Oh, right. I, I think right. we're still going to see it. We'll still see a bunch of games that will still be, obviously in this case, Xbox 360 only. Seeing as they'll be still based in the um, XBNA mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, series, or the um, programming suite. Mm -hmm. And that's going away, so probably, just as Microsoft is no longer really embracing the indie developers... Um, I think we'll see a lot less indie development on the Xbox. Yeah, because I, 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 shame. I think Microsoft is going for a we're pushing away the indie self-publishing stuff, and if they want to publish, they can find their own publisher or publish through Microsoft, mm -hmm. making it an Xbox or an Xbox exclusive. Oh, what dark futures this portends. But perhaps we will end it here and return after the show with uh, rants about how right or wrong we were and how angry we are at various things shown. Yes, folks. This has been Dave. Hey, Carlos. Two Fat Guys Talk Games. X or, um, E3 predictions, wants, and... Needs. Needs. Indeed. I need so bad. Oh, E3. You have a pretty mouth. <laughs> I love your mouth, E3. I actually think E3 is running its course. Because it has such a pretty mouth? No. Just that it's not needed to as much anymore. Are, are you saying you don't want a mouth fuck E3? Well, yeah. It could mean like it's had its mouth on everything. Yeah, it's kind of gross. <laughs> anyway, we're out. Yeah, indeed. Well, fucking for days. So, if you've liked what you heard, you want to leave us some feedback, you want to give us some criticism, whatever, our podcast site is tfgtg.blogspot.com, where you can also find the feed link and our YouTube channel. You can also find us on Twitter at tfgtg. Yeah. <laughs> there's, no, right. there's no way to continue that so no uh, continue please that sentence. <laughs> please leave us some feedback we accept good and bad we will usually respond seeing as we have such a small group audience we do have thousands of millions of followers so we might not respond to you right away sure let's go with that